You know, there's only one food ever that health authorities told people to shy away from. What is that? It is the egg. Back in 1968, the American Heart Association came out with a recommendation to limit egg consumption to three a week. Also to limit cholesterol consumption to 300 milligrams a day. Nobody really knows where that 300 milligram number came from. But prior to 1968, uh, there had been uh, sort of accumulating epidemiological data that high levels of cholesterol in the blood were linked to heart disease and that eggs in their yolk contained a significant amount of cholesterol. And therefore it made sense. Eat eggs, you're eating cholesterol, cholesterol goes into the blood, high cholesterol causes heart disease, and presto, you had the recommendation to limit egg consumption to only about three a week. Well, after 1968, more and more research began to be carried out. Some of it indeed subsidized by the egg industry, as you would expect, but just because it was subsidized by the industry does not invalidate the results. And pretty soon it turned out that uh, uh, it wasn't exactly the way that uh, the American Heart Association had portrayed the issue because dietary cholesterol was not linked to blood cholesterol. Blood cholesterol was affected by the types of fat and the amount of fat that consumed, and perhaps even by the amount of sugar, but not by the amount of cholesterol. In 1968, we had been basically taking that egg and throwing it out. Too much cholesterol, we weren't eating it. And then slowly, the rehabilitation of the egg began and papers began to be published about all of the new research about the lack of a link between consuming eggs and heart disease. So what happened? More and more studies came out. There was a very good study out of China showing that in fact consuming one egg a day was even beneficial. Never mind, not detrimental. So we went back to eating eggs again. You think that's the end of the story? No, because recently another paper emerged and this was highly impactive. It was in the uh, Journal of the American Medical Association. And this time they said, yes, if you're eating 300 milligrams a day, or if you're eating more than three to four eggs a week, you are at risk for heart disease. Well, I went over this paper very, very carefully, really scrutinized it. And you know that it was based on a lot of people, close to 30,000 people monitored over 17 years. But where did the data come from? From an initial questionnaire about their diet intake. And the assumption was that people ate the same way for 17 years, which of course is very unlikely to happen. Someone who was eating eggs 17 years ago probably does not have the same egg consumption today. So I think the data here is, is highly questionable. And nevertheless, the increase that we saw was very, very little. Even if you take their data, which I'm very, very suspicious of, out of 100 people, there may have been about three more cases of cardiovascular disease among people who were consuming three or four eggs a week. But very, very suspect uh, data. A lot of people, though, you know, are looking at this and once again think, oh, well, we better get rid of those eggs. I don't buy into that uh, because I think you don't make judgments based on one study. We look at the studies that have accumulated over the years and I think that consuming, oh, anywhere between three to four eggs a week is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter if they're white or brown. Uh, that's just a different genetic type of, of, of chicken. So I have no concerns at all and I don't think that anyone should be out there taking eggs completely out of their diet.